Hello, Taylor from Bag Riders here, and today we're going to talk to you about manifolds. A manifold will generally have eight valves, two for each air spring. One valve will fill the air spring, the other will release air from that air spring. The air is directed throughout the manifold through different pathways called galleys. In front of me we have three different manifolds. This is a manual manifold, this is a electronic manifold, and this is a digital manifold with computers in it. Here we have a manual manifold. As you can see, we have these paddle valves controlled by your fingers. Air comes from your tank into the valve. Air goes out of the valve when you press it up into your air spring. And when you press it down, there's a little orifice here that the air comes out of. Here we have an electronic manifold. This one has eight electronic valves in it. This can be used with an analog or digital management. On the back side, we have ports used for gauges. So if you'd like to see your air spring pressure, this is how you would do that. And then on this side, you have fittings that would go to the corresponding air spring that you're controlling. Electronic manifolds are usually controlled by either a switch box or any sort of momentary electronic switch. Here we have a digital manifold. This is the Airlift Performance 3P or 3H. This manifold has an ECU that controls the valves. So when you press the button on your controller, that ECU sees that button press and tells the correct valve to actuate. These valves are controlled by poppets. And unlike a solenoid valve, which is a magnet, the poppets require pressure from your air tank to actuate air into your air spring or from your air spring. These manual valves only come in quarter inch. However, the electronic manifolds and digital manifolds both come in quarter inch and 3 8 inch PTC or NPT. So as far as fill speeds go, these manual valves are going to be pretty slow. With these manifolds, you're going to have a lot more options. Quarter inch is going to be a little bit slower because there's less volume moving through your air lines. 3 8 inch, bigger than quarter inch, more volume going through your air lines, you're going to fill your air springs quicker. Sometimes you may see people using a four valve manifold or four valves to fill four air springs. This is bad. What would happen is if you have one valve filling two air springs, you go around a corner, that pressure is shared between each bag. As the weight transfers from one side of the vehicle, it increases the pressure on that, that side. That pressure is going to equalize into the other side and make your car not feel good. Weight will transfer. Your car won't stay level. Now that you understand what an air manifold is, you can check out bagriders.com where we have a wide variety of manifolds in different types and sizes. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below, give us a call, or shoot us an email.